Dylan Wisman, 182 pound champ, Blow Nationals 2014. First off, cool story to think I've ever seen. Do you have anything like that already? No, never got to go to Super 32, never got to win a belt. Hopefully this year go down to Super 32 and win another belt. You're a junior from Virginia, yes. and uh, that guy's from New York. He was tougher than the nails. Yeah. He picks you up in the middle of the mat in the third period. He has you dead to rights. How do you defend that, that, that last double leg he hit you with? Well, just got to keep working. Can't give up anything, you know. Just got to keep trying to get my hips back. Was trying to get my foot down in the mat, try to get a little weight down, try pushing the wizard in, and then he got me to the edge and got my finally got my feet down the mat, get my hips back, threw his head down, and just put my hips back. Try, tried getting around, but couldn't really get any, anything there. That last takedown on the edge. First off, I don't know in, in actual high school wrestling if that's a takedown, but here with the rules, how good have those rules been for you on the edge uh, of the mat? I love the rules this weekend. Got a couple takedowns on the edge. There probably wouldn't have been takedowns in high school. And it's definitely just makes you have to wrestle the whole mat. You can't give up anything on the edge. You got to just keep pushing through and never give up. Your quarterfinal match, I did that match. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. It's probably a match you could have lost, but uh, you're up big and a guy comes back on you. What's going through your head? You went eight to seven. It's the first time I've been put on my back all year and just knew. <laughs> I thought I was going to get pinned for a second there. But, you know, I couldn't quit fighting, just got off my back, just kept pushing, kept getting on my offense, and just kept working. And then he got me up in a single cry for the last 30 seconds and just had to try to get down and posting off. And then finally got to the edge and got my head back, and time ran out. Three schools right now that you think you want to go and wrestle for. Name three of them right now that would be on the top of your list. As of right now, Pitt, UVA, and uh, probably Minnesota. Minnesota? When you look at how the ACC is emerging, they had three NCAA finalists this year. Does that make you want to stay in Virginia a little bit? Uh, definitely, definitely want to stay close to home, but don't mind going far away either. Looking at this tournament, coming in, you're the two seed. He's seeded ahead of you. Did you worry about the seeds at all? No, seeds don't mean anything. you got to wrestle every match like it's the finals. You can't give anything up. Just because you're better than the kid doesn't mean he can't beat you. you just got to act like every match is finals. Will you be back at this tournament next year? Yes, sir. All right, you got anything else for me? No, that's all. Congratulations on the title. Do something interesting with that belt. And uh, heal up, man. What's up with that? What's uh, that? What happened? I think I pulled my groin a little bit. Just knew. Couldn't, couldn't let it affect me, though. Got on the mat, just blocked it out of my head, and just had to wrestle six minutes. And after six minutes, then I can worry about it. All right, man. Congratulations. Thank you.